50 young people took part in a special bell ringing ceremony in London's Trafalgar Square on Wednesday to commemorate 50 years since Martin Luther King delivered his I Have a Dream speech in Washington. The Let Freedom Ring event saw the young people ringing bells at 3 p.m., the same time of the day the civil rights leader concluded his historic address in 1963. The event, facilitated by the Small Green Roots charity, included jazz music and readings of the speech by young people around the UK. It was broadcast live on the internet. Well, basically, we've been running a combination of youth music projects and youth arts projects for young people across the country, supported by the Arts Council. Um, and we had like over 100 teenagers take part and gain accreditation through it. So we thought, what better way to celebrate than have our symbolic bell ringing at 3 p.m., which is exactly when Martin Luther King made his speech at Trafalgar Square. It, we were asked to do so by the King Foundation in Atlanta, so it was an honour to take part. Henry Coates, a representative of the charity, commented on why the anniversary was relevant worldwide. It was somebody reaching out to all sorts of people, because if you look at the speech, Martin Luther King had all sorts of people around him. They weren't just black people, there were white people and Asians, and I found that that was a really, really lovely thing to see, because a lot of people just think racism happened just with the black people, but then it, it affects everyone, and so it was really important to know that. Um, I wanted to get involved because I wanted everyone to recognise that it's a big thing in England and Britain as much as it is around the world and it's not just about the black community, it is the white community as well and everyone is involved in this and it shows how much everything has changed. The speech is important to me because it is about having a dream and it's about everyone being equal with each other and everyone having the same rights and I feel strongly about that. King, a black clergyman and advocate of non-violence, was among six organisers of the 1963 march on Washington for jobs and freedom, where he made his address. King's speech is credited with helping spur passage of sweeping civil rights laws. A white prison escapee assassinated the Nobel Peace Prize winner in 1968.